Hello there, um, it's Faith here, and, well, first of all, I just want to say Happy New Year. This video is going to be going up, um, after the new year for most time zones, at least in the U.S., so, yeah. I am super excited for, um, this year and, uh, videos. I actually, just for Christmas, I got a ring light so hopefully the lighting will be better it kind of makes me look really pale even though I am pretty pale but like, that's fine <laughs> and then I also just got a new camera and I have my microphone and like I have it all set up right now and I feel so fancy like am I an actual youtuber now I I don't know <laughs> anyways um to Today, I wanted to do something a little bit different to start the new year off, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm actually not going to be drawing in my sketchbook today because um, I have collected quite a few books over the past few years that are like have prompts and different things you can do and um like for drawing and stuff like that i have these three here by carrie smith um wreck this journal finish this book and this is not a book i also have the imaginary world of by um carrie smith but that one doesn't really have much to do with drawing so i probably won't be doing this one on here I also have 642 tiny things to draw and draw your turn by Bellamina. So, out of all of these books, these four are probably the ones that I would end up doing potential series for. Some of these I've had for quite a while, and then some of them like this one I just got for Christmas so I haven't done anything in it yet out of all of the ones that I just showed you these three are probably the ones that I would end up doing the most um, as like potential series and I figure if I create a series then I don't have an excuse not to be drawing in them so anyways, yeah, hopefully I'll be doing a series on a few of these. As for today though, I think I want to do something in Draw Your Journal. Because it is brand new, haven't done anything in it yet. I actually just found out about this book um, like a few weeks ago. I was watching the Instant Influencer by ZHC. So that's where I heard about Bellamina and I um, went, went to her channel and saw that she had a book that looked like a lot of fun. So I actually haven't really taken, looked at it that closely. So I guess we can look at it for the first time together. Let's see, it has this journal belongs to draw your dry materials, draw your wet materials. And then it goes straight into the prompts. Oh, this is kind of cool. It says use this page to track which pages you've completed and the date you completed them on. So I guess now all you have to do is decide which page to do first. And yeah, there are a lot of options because it does say on the back that there are no rules. So you don't have to do it in a certain order. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to find a page really quick and then we can get started. 
Okay, so I've been flipping through the pages really quickly, and I think I'm gonna go with this one for today. Um, draw your animal. And I think I have an idea, so... Yeah, this is the one I'm gonna go with. Oh, hi. Hello there, again. It is now voice over me, and um, so here I am sketching out the drawing. I guess a little bit of a backstory on why I chose to do this. Um, I think that this page may be referring to your pet as in, well, a pet. But we currently don't have any pets, so I was like, well, I could just do my favorite animal instead. Um, I thought about doing a fox since I do like foxes, but something you probably don't know about me unless you know me in real life <laughs> is that when I was little, I absolutely loved monkeys. I don't know what it was, I just, I've always liked them. My sixth birthday was literally monkey themed. Yeah, I had a lot of clothes with monkeys on them. I had tons of monkey stuffed animals. I would climb like everything at the park and any tree that I could. So, I guess my animal <laughs> has always been monkeys. I don't know that I really have a favorite animal anymore, but I bet if you ask the majority of my family members what my favorite animal is, they'd probably say monkeys because everyone knew that I liked them when I was little. And I still think that they're cute and I had a lot of fun coming up with this drawing. I actually didn't use a reference for any of it, unless you count me um, using my own hand right here. <laughs> Does anyone else do that or is it just me? So yeah. I pretty much just made this up as I went, and I'm actually pretty happy with the end result. Okay, so I got this set of fine liners for Christmas and I actually really like them. They're probably the closest dupe to microns that I've personally found. Like, they f it feels just like you're using microns, they work just as well, they didn't bleed at all, and they're cheaper. This set of 8 um, you can get on Amazon for like 10 bucks, whereas an 8 set of microns is usually between 18 and 20. So, uh, just in case anyone else is looking for some good fine liners, uh, I'll put a link to these ones below. Also, just wanted to mention while I'm talking, the main reason I got a new camera is actually because I'd been recording on my phone and I'd been having some problems with storage and things. So, like, I literally recorded an entire video for Thanksgiving and Christmas, but couldn't upload them because I couldn't get them onto my computer to edit, so that was pretty sad. <sighs> I do have the finished painting and drawing from those videos on my Instagram account though, so if you want to see them, I'll link it below. You can even follow while you're there if, if you want to. I just passed 100 followers on it, which is pretty crazy. Did I just self-promo? Whatever, anyways, moving on. Basically, the whole storage thing shouldn't be a problem anymore, so yay. I feel like as soon as I fix one problem, there's always another. So here's the hoping 2022 will be less problematic when it comes to my uploading schedule.
decided to draw bananas um for the cake because obviously it needs to be banana cake because monkeys and um i also put some bananas as like confetti like with the with the confetti in the balloons like they're just flying through the air yeah and now i hate bananas i thought they'd be easy like why, why are they so hard to draw it's literally just like a um, crescent mean basically but it's not and it's just no it's actually probably just because i was lazy about it but like whatever i still blame bananas for being weird <laughs> what am i saying okay i'm gonna stop talking now Okay, so finally, here we are at the coloring stage. Um, as for the color scheme, I pretty much just wanted it to be bold, bright, and colorful. You know, it's a party. <laughs> and I also knew that I didn't want to do like all the monkeys to be the same color because it would be kind of boring. So I just picked out a bunch of different shades and like was basically doing every other one. And, and this is when I realized that I had an uneven number of monkeys. Oh well though, George can just be the odd one out now. <laughs> oh, who is George, you may ask? Well, let me introduce you to these characters. So, first off, we have George. No, not Curious George. This George. And uh, he's just swinging around and having a great time. Then there's Hilda, who obviously just does not want to be here. I don't know who dragged her here. George? Was it you? Yep, that's the face of guilt if I've ever seen one. Um, but she's obviously very annoyed by the ridiculousness of the entire event. Um, unlike Susie over here who is just hanging out. She's chilling, vibing. Seems pretty relaxed considering the chaos around her. <clears throat> then of course we have Harold and um, Henry who are obviously brothers. And they're kind of known to be troublemakers, a bit mischievous they are. Um, you know, Fred and George, Mary and Pippin, Crash and Eddie type of vibes. Crash and Eddie. I don't know why they like immediately popped into my head, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna go with it. Um, so yeah, they're just both posing for the picture like the weirdos that they are. Next, we have adorable little Timothy down there who's in complete awe of this cake. It's bigger than he is. Do you see that face? His little mind can't even comprehend the wonders that it's beholding. <laughs> Why am I so weird? Okay, and last but not least, we have the birthday girl herself, Genevieve, who wasn't prepared for this as it was a surprise party, and she really doesn't like surprises and hates attention, so she doesn't know why her friends thought this was a good idea in the first place. Then again, she is friends with Henry and Harold, so enough said. She's basically just ready to eat cake, open presents, and skedaddle back home as quickly as possible. <clears throat> yeah, um, I don't, I don't know what that was, but now there's a story, I guess. So you're welcome. Anyways, um, that's about it for now. So. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll try and do more than one page in the future, but I kind of spent quite a bit of time on this one. If you liked the video, um, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you all have a fantastic week and a happy new year. I'll see you all next time. Live long and prosper.